Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about how to get an extra talent point. So when we press K, you'll see here when we click on talents, you're able to allocate these special points onto your sunflower to increase your percentage damage overall, and you have a total of 15 points normally. So I'm going to tell you how to get 16 points. So it's quite simple, when you press U, you'll open up your achievement menus and you're going to come to character, go to skills, and go to all areas. And you'll see that there's a whole bunch of quests over here which will give you talent points or skills. However, you'll scroll all the way to the very bottom and there's Home Moon Fortitude. This is a new one that just came out in this patch. And basically, you're going to be farming Moon Refuge for all of the materials. So you'll see here that you need a Moon Tide Blossom, a Blightwood Berry, Lunar Stone, Arcane Root, as well as a Home Moon Remedy. So you can get everything from Moon Refuge except for the Home Moon Remedy. So you will need to be in a guild in order to craft the Home Moon Remedy. So you see over here that my guild is already crafting the Home Moon Remedy. It'll take a total of 3 days to complete and it is quite expensive. You do need 40 transformation stones, 30 blood stones, and on top of that you need people in various crafting guilds. So you need one person in Silver Cauldron, one in Forge Keepers, one in Earth Seers, one in Soul Wardens, and one in Acquired Taste. And once you have all of these contributors done, as well as you've donated the materials, as well as having the gold, 250 soul stones, 50 moon stones, uh, 50 faction insignias, and 250 Nairu silver, then you'll be able to craft three of these home moon remedies. So it's very, very expensive for just three of them. Um, however, for those who are not in a guild, don't worry, these are tradable. The only problem is the crafting time takes three days and it is ridiculously expensive. So I don't think a lot of people are going to be selling the Home Moon Remedy on the market anytime soon. And if they are selling it, it's going to be very, very expensive because of the initial cost to actually craft them. So once you have your Home Moon Remedy as well as all the materials that you get from Moon Refuge, you simply eat all of them and you unlock this achievement. And the silly thing is you only get one point. So that is, all of this work is a very big investment. First of all, the Moon Refuge stuff is a time investment. You know, it's an RNG thing. You can't just go to a merchant and buy it. You actually have to farm certain mobs and there's a chance of it dropping these materials or a chest that has the chance of giving these materials. So it takes a very long time to get them. And the Home Moon Remedy is very expensive. So I don't recommend people to get this unless you have nothing else to do or you're just doing it on the side. Uh, in my case, I'm just doing it on the side, and so that's why I'm crafting the Home Moon Remedy. As for the Moon Refuge stuff, I'm just going to take my time. Maybe there's one day where I'm extremely bored, then I'll just go to Moon Refuge and farm like crazy. But the cost to get this one skill point is very out of proportion. This is a ton of work and a ton of resources just for one extra skill point. But if you have nothing else better to do or you have nothing else to upgrade, then definitely just go for it because one skill point can't hurt. It's definitely useful and helpful in the long run. But yeah, that's basically all I wanted to talk about in this video. It's just a lot of investment, very expensive for very, very, very minor DPS increase. So, uh, you know, do it if you want to, but you're not missing out by not doing it. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in this video. Hopefully it was helpful. If it was, I would appreciate a subscribe. Or if you want to go that extra mile, please consider becoming a member. Speaking about members, I'd like to thank Overgamers, Yatogami, Arisoya, Gonzola, Jeremy Chen, Nayana, Pearlstyle, Lina Ren, Toots McGee, Solar Hero, SD Sintu, and Key for supporting the channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the rest.